Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Max Wellness. My name is Ness Max. So, as a nurse and a father of two boys who are both under the ages of four, the word RSV is not something new to me at all. Imagine how excited I was when I heard that the FDA has just approved another vaccine for this virus. Today, we're going to talk about some of the things that you need to do to protect yourself and your little ones from contacting this virus when they get out to go to school or when they are enjoying uh, summertime or family time. Before you take your kids to go get vaccinated against this virus, there are certain basic things that you need to know about the RSV and what you can do to protect your kids from contacting it before they even get vaccinated. So if you don't know, please watch this. And also, please share this video with family members and friends who have little ones or kids to get educated about the RSV virus. So, what is RSV virus? The word RSV stands for Respiratory Syncytial Virus. It is a common virus that causes respiratory infection, especially in younger children and also older adults. The RSV infection can range from a mild cold-like symptom to a more severe respiratory infections like bronchiolitis and pneumonia. So, the main mode of transmission is that it spread through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. What are some of the basic things that parents can do to protect or prevent their kids from getting infected with the RSV virus? Number one, frequent hand washing. So as a nurse, I always practice hand washing or we are encouraged to practice hand washing as a norm just to prevent the spread of diseases or infection from one patient to the other. Same way, parents are encouraged or parents should encourage their kids or themselves to practice frequent hand washing with water and soap and this should be done at least for 20 seconds especially after being in public places or around sick individuals this is very important number two avoid exposure to sick individuals to help prevent you and your kids from contacting the rsv virus limit your exposure to people who have cold like symptoms or respiratory infections especially during the RSV season. This might be especially hard if some of the kids are in daycare or at school. Some parents would rather send their sick child to daycare because they don't have a regular babysitter at home, and this is not good. The third item that you can do to prevent your kids from getting infected with the RSV virus is to keep your surrounding clean. Regularly clean and disinfect commonly touched surfaces, such as doorknobs, toys, counters, and the remote control. This is very important. Number four, avoid crowded places, especially during the RSV seasons. Try as much as possible to minimize your child's exposure to large crowds, as this can reduce their risk of infection. Number five, maintain a good hygiene practice. Cover your child's mouth and nose with tissue or elbow when they cough or sneeze, and teach them how to dispose of used tissues properly. The sixth item on our list is breastfeeding. This goes to mothers with newborn babies. We cannot stress how much important it is for mothers to breastfeed their kids. The reason being that breast milk provides a lot of antibodies that can protect your kids against infection. So if it's not against medical advice or against your doctor's advice, always breastfeed your kids. It's very important. Number seven, keep your kids away from smoke. Exposure to secondhand smoking increases your child's risk of getting respiratory infection. So avoid smoking outright or don't smoke in the vicinity of your children. The eighth and the final thing that you need to do to protect your kids against the RSV virus is that stay up to date with your child's vaccination. Ensure that your child receive all the recommended vaccination as some of these vaccines may protect them against certain risks. Finally, when the new RSV vaccine becomes available, please take your child to go get vaccinated because it will protect them against getting all these infections. Thank you. Thanks for watching another episode of Max Wellness. Our aim is only to help you maximize your wellness one video at a time. And please share this video with friends and family with children. Also, we're going to leave our references in the bottom or in the description section so that you can read more about RSV virus. Thank you.